Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 454 account special triplets. Hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Honestly, I was, I, I would say, even for me, uh, this I did brazenly fast on this one. Um, did in about uh, clock time, two minutes, but I, was, I spent some time. If you watch the live portion or the live video of this, I, I spent some portion complaining about Q1 and I didn't really rush into it. And honestly, I'm not. Uh, even though I, you know, you can see the results here, I'm not speed, um, speed solving this as much as I can anymore, because you know this is a virtual contest. I'm still trying to be fast, but just not like you know, a hundred percent speed. But in any case, uh, this problem count special triplets. Uh, anytime I see these kind of problems of like you, you have to find a triplet or a double or a pair or whatever, first thing I should do is look at the constraints, right? We have ten to the fifth. Okay. And then the second thing that I would say is that um, given this i is less than j is less than k, uh, really, you know, uh, well, the, like I said, look at n, and that means that, well, it should be either your complexity that you're looking for is L of n or n log n for something that's 10 to the fifth. Um, and here, that means that you cannot do like a triple for loop because that's n cube. And honestly, uh, don't look at that, that's for loop. But the idea here, eh, 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 no spoiler, <laughs> you have something like this, really, you can only write three loops, right? You can maybe write this, and then now, uh, okay, given num sub i, find num sub, or uh, count, I guess, count the number of num sub j, or num, uh, n num sub k, maybe, uh, that applies. And actually, honestly, this isn't that bad. Like, you can do it this way, by the way, because... Uh, num, num sub j is just num sub i divided by 2, so you have to check i. And num sub k is just the exact same thing, right? So you can either do it in either direction as well, meaning that you could look at the suffix, you could look at the prefix. So this one is actually perfectly fine, right? Uh, and without loss of uh, geometry, loss of uh, um, uh, 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 without loss of generality, um, but with, by symmetry, k is the same thing, right? Uh, it's just going the other way, right? Because now you have the biggest index instead of the smallest index. So, you know, you could look at prefix, suffix, or whatever, depending on how you want to do it. But now you have K and J. So either of these cases are fine, right? Um, the way that I preferred, uh, or not that preferred, but the way I thought was more natural is that uh, maybe, maybe I mean, I did in two minutes, so I didn't really think through all the cases. I just thought, okay, I know how to do it. I want to do it. Let's do it, right? Uh, which is basically this, right? Given given num sub j, count the num sub, uh, and for, for this one, it, it's a little bit um, different only because these things do, because um, for this particular problem, the reason why these two also don't matter um, is that, um, is that what num sub j is does not influence what num sub k is, right? Not directly. I mean, it does in the sense that they both depend on num sub i, but like, for example, if you're counting the num number of, uh, let's say num sub i is five, or I guess it cannot be five. Let's say it's six, then you're looking for three and six that you that is on this, you know, be after i, right? Um, and there, there's no interference, right? There's no like, because some problems you have to be like, oh, num sub j has to be less than num sub k. So in that case, you do have to know like, okay, we have a specific num sub j, then you have to find a specific num sub k that matches that j, right? But for this problem, they are independent. So either of these, this is fine and this is fine. But for me, it just feels natural anyway that, uh, you know, given num sub j, I can find a prefix num sub i and a, a suffix num sub k, right? Meaning the index or the yeah the prefix where uh you have this number and then the suffix where you have that number right so before and after um and that kind of thing um again try all three uh, or at least two of these if you did it the one way or the other um just to kind of bond your 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 um your views a little bit right anyway uh th this is the code though uh, and the idea here is just keep like i said just keep track of the prefix and the suffix. I, I write left as the prefix, right as the suffix, and that's for every numbers. Um, and the cool thing is that because num sub j don't really influence uh, with num sub j times two, um, you can, the order doesn't matter as much um, the way that this is. Um, you can actually put this afterwards and it's still fine because, well, this number will never equal to this number. Uh, 
unless zero is in the case. So actually, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, sorry. I forgot that. Actually, during the contest, I did, did a very quick scan to see that it could be zero. So I guess, so if there's zero, I'm wrong on this one. So actually, let me take it back. But in any case, because, um, you know, so there are three segments, right? This is the current number. There's the prefix, there's the suffix. So every number starts on the suffix. When you're parsing the current number, then now it is no longer the suffix. So that's why I do the decrement. And then now I do the count because now we have this number. We're looking for the double on the prefix and on the suffix. And then you just multiply them because, um, yeah, it is, you know, the order combinations of things. And, and that's how you just count them, right? For example, if there's three... Uh, different numbers on the left side and four different numbers on the right side, then you could choose three times four and it's 12 because you know you could draw the cross product, right? Uh, in any case, yeah, and then just make sure you remember the mod. And then now, uh, after you process it, then now it goes from the middle to the left. And so that's how why we have this thing here. Um, you could also maybe parse that here, I don't know, like on, on this line if you want for the previous index, but, but I thought this was a little bit more for straightforward. Anyway, that's it, right? Uh, this is going to be linear time, linear space, right? This is linear time. These are all, all one operations. Linear space coming from these two. Also pretty straightforward. Uh, and yeah, linear time, linear space. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you could watch me self alive during the contest now. Right, let's just figure out this one. Okay, you have IJK, N is 10 to the fifth, so we have to be smart. IJK, I is your G, D, 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 and. So then we have to loop on J and then times two on the thing. Okay. Um, oops, that's not right. Uh, mod, 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 mod. All right. And then now it's just the number of things that are on the left. That's times two. And yeah, so for J in range of N. <sighs> um, so we want... The f no the okay. Okay. Uh so right as you go to the connection start counter of nums. Um okay, so then now we we move uh right of num sub j. Though it doesn't matter because you can trigger itself. But uh, actually, I guess you can with zeros, and you can have zeros for sure. That's why. Oh, I was gonna say that's a trick case, so maybe not. Uh, yeah. Anyway, right. So here, um, count is equal to f times of j times two times one j times two, and then count da 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 da, and then. I think that should be good, actually. One, one, two. All right, yellow submit. Okay, that was easier than Q1 for me. Quick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about well, this farm, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.